Hi, so today we're going to be learning how to use page URL parameters to show and hide different sections uh, as part of an onboarding flow. OK, so uh, I've already made this little page here. Uh, this three little sections with six questions, nothing too fancy, uh, but I want one of them to display at a time. And uh, I want uh, with with using option sets, which I think uh, provides a nice, flexible, scalable way uh, rather than uh, showing and hiding different groups. So if I want to add a, add a section, remove a section, uh, showing hiding just gets into a bit of a tangle. Uh, but using option sets and page URL parameters uh, makes it quite easy. OK, so after you've laid down the different sections, all of these are simple, just standard groups. Uh, we untick the uh, page visibility condition. So by default, the page is not visible. The section isn't visible. OK, uh, all these three sections are invisible on page load. OK, so we go to the data tab. We make an option set uh, OS nav onboarding. OK. And we can step one, step two, step three. You can call them anything. Uh, I'll just call them step one, two, three. OK, so now we have our option set and we want to trigger uh, a visibility on a particular page URL parameter. So let's go to one of our sections, our first section, go to the conditional tab and add uh, get data from page URL. OK, and uh, we'll use nav as the key and we're going to go to os nav onboarding okay so when get nav from page url is step one make this element visible okay so let's click the preview tab and see how it goes to see if somebody uh, wasn't struggling to follow uh let's see password and okay so by default, we see nothing. OK, and if I go to my page URL parameter and I click nav equals step one, I see something. OK, so I, I copy these conditions. And paste them on a different group. As well, uh, paste the whole condition. You can do that. It's a very small tip there. Uh, so page one, step one, step two, step three. OK, so now if I refresh, and I need to, I just change the URL parameter. Step two, yep, different section. Step three, different section. Okay, so uh, now we just need to add next and back buttons or continue, just this one just has the continue button. We could add a little back button as well. So if I start a workflow, workflow all I need to do is go to page and uh, the same page as the one we are on onboarding and we just tick this send more parameters to the page and uh, our key the thing on the left so the key is this is the key nav and this is the actual value that's passed okay so the key is nav the value that's passed is an option option is os nav onboarding and step one okay and it's display Okay. Oh, in fact, this is the button which goes to next. Okay. So this is the button that goes to supposed to go to step two. Okay. I copy this workflow and I say on this one, on the next, uh, on the continue to button, we need to go to step three. Okay. Oops. Step three. Okay. And on page load, we need to show step one. Okay. So on page load, we're going to start showing step one. OK, so if I click preview. On page load, it will show step one. And there it is. It, it automatically went to step one. OK, uh, we do need to add a conditional here that only do this if the URL parameter is empty. Otherwise, it'll keep going into loop. In fact, you should probably see. Yeah, so if I, if I go slow and continue, it goes to the next page. And on page load runs the same condition again, so it comes back. So we are in an infinite loop here. OK, so what we're going to do is add a conditional here. So get nav. Nav onboarding is empty. So only do this if nav is empty in the page URL. OK, so uh, we remove everything. So OK, let's just clean load. So uh, by default, in fact, I'll add the debug mode equals 
true and switch to slow mode okay so by default if I don't pass any page URL parameter loads the page and that page load conditions starts applying the action starts running and now we see this section okay and if I click continue just a simple go to page and I see the next page okay and next and I see the next page okay so we have a nice simple flexible onboarding sequence which we can add now so if I wanted to add another section for example I wanted to add a, sec a few questions in the middle here so I'm gonna just copy this section I'm gonna go to the page and paste the whole section so we have onboarding to copy okay this one's onboarding to copy uh, I'm gonna go to my option set I'm gonna say step 1.5 quite common like just move it no need to move it up but yeah step 1.5 and uh we can which one is onboarding 2.2 copy 1.5 uh step 1.5 and yeah just tweak the page workflows go to page next pad go to page we have a new section so showing hiding and uh, there are other ways of doing this perfectly fine ways if uh, the only drawback of this method that I know of is that you can't do fancy animations yet okay with transitions maybe one at some point uh, by fancy animations if you use show hide and have a delicate onboarding sequence you can think like show things from the top like use animation so the animate action uh, rather than the show and hide action so that's a bit of a drawback of this method but we generally like this the URL is helpful sometimes in analytics uh, it's very flexible adding a section removing a section this stuff is useful. All right. Hope this was useful and uh, Thank you very much. Bye